So, just back after checking out the Shaw Brothers Classics Volume 3 from Shout Factory and Disc 1, which was just Killer Clans. Uh, it's not just Killer Clans, one of my favourite Shaw Brothers movies, and I have to say this HD print looks absolutely stunning. Uh, so good in fact that I watched the two versions back to back. I watched the first in its original language of course with English subtitles and the second with David West's commentary. Um, I mean the voice gets me as you know but still very very informative guy um, clearly. Uh, the only problem is I find that he loses track of what's going on on screen at that time while he wonderfully informs you about so many other things. Uh, one of the other extra features I really liked there was the James Mudge video essay uh, on Chor Yoon. Uh, you can tell he's very much a fan. Uh, this ran for just around 21 minutes, maybe just over 21 minutes in length. But again, wonderful stuff, very, very informative and well worth checking out. Uh, there's an interview on there with critic Shumlong Ting uh, from the Frederick Ambrosine Archive. And he talks about the writer Gulong, uh, talks about Killer Clans, the movie, which is based on that novel, and then later remade as uh, Comet, Butterfly and Sword with Michelle Yeoh, Donnie Yen and Joey Wong, of course. Uh, then you have an interview with Ku Feng, uh, wonderful actor, uh, very, very interesting interview, great insight um, as to what he wanted to do with his life and to obviously getting into acting, things like that. That's from the Frederick Ambrosine archive again, ran for just under 22 minutes in length, quite similar to the past interview, I forgot to mention that was around a similar length of time, um, but it is wonderful and features uh, many clips, uh, pictures, etc. of his career throughout the Shaw Brothers, um, which was great to see. He is a legendary actor from the studio, of course. Then you have the original theatrical trailer, um, which is always great to see, ran for just over three minutes in length, um, it's an interesting edit, I have to say. <laughs> it opens with clips of um, Gulong's books uh, and clips from other Shaw Brothers films based around those, um, but before before Killer Clowns were made, obviously. Um, but it is in widescreen, very low quality, um, not great, but good to watch before you go into the movie so you can see that restoration process to let that HD quality wow you and then there's the celestial trailer which runs again just over one minute in length um sd quality still widescreen though and better color uh, but very much uh sort of low dvd quality but for the first disc of the box set here in volume three the killer clans was a great start i'm just sorry they didn't put an extra disc in there when they had the room but anyway there's still lots more to come So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.